Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Tom. This is Good Morning Tom. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very, well, it's a pretty special day because I'm gonna visit a bookstore, uh, a bookstore in Maastricht, which is like traveling for three hours. I have to take the bus, I have to take the train. Well, it's known to be a pretty special bookstore um, since it's built in a church. I wanted to see that for myself and hopefully I can find some poetry books or some comic books. I really like reading comics. Um, I don't talk about that here because, you know, this is more about poetry, but I, I, I like reading comic books. So hopefully I can find some of those. Um, but I'm actually really hoping to find some good poetry books because the poetry books I bought recently, I've already read most of it. So I'm actually in need to get some new poetry books. And I hope they just have a great collection and I can get home with a pile of books. That will be great. So of course, before going, I'll do my homework and just check out if I could find something about this bookstore on the internet. Turns out there's a lot of stuff about this bookstore. The city of Maastricht, they, 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 they wrote this. Since the autumn of 2006, you can find the unique Dominicana bookshop in the centuries-old Dominicana Kerk, Dominicana Church in Maastricht. 200 years ago, the church, well, and then we have some background information about the church. And at the end, it says, Dominicana Bookshop also serves as a cultural venue with regular lectures, debates, and music performances, and even an exhibition space. A walk through the Dominicana Kerk is an experience in itself. It's no wonder it's called the most beautiful bookshop in the world. Uh, and yes, there are some great images of the bookstore. So it looks promising. Let's find out if there's anything more about it. So the museumtimes.com wrote the most beautiful bookstore inside a church in Maastricht. But the inside is truly all inspiring in every way. Plenty of books, CDs and DVDs and gifts are available. There is also an English section, which might be important for the viewers. So yeah, it's it's a really good concept, you know, just to have a bookstore in the church is really special. I, I'm sure that is really good. The Guardian also gave this bookshop the title Best Bookstore in the World in 2008. This is all very promising, so I don't have to look any further. I'm just gonna go right now. So here I am back home again. Uh, I had a great day. It was a wonderful city. I really loved being there. Bought some nice stuff. But to tell you the truth, I didn't buy a book. That is so weird, right? You come to the most beautiful bookstore in the world, as they say, and you find absolutely nothing. I didn't find anything there. It was indeed a very beautiful, store but honestly i've seen much better and more beautiful bookstores in the world than this one i didn't really like the collection of books they had all the books that they had were pretty mainstream so they had like a lot of literature but nothing was kind of off the road you know what i mean these books you could find literally anywhere in any bookshop i went to the poetry section it was horrible they didn't have a lot of poetry books and the poetry books that they had weren't that good. They had just a lot of popular poetry. So yes, again, it was all very mainstream. I think that's a really bad thing, you know, to have such a major bookshop and to have so little poetry. 
that's just so strange, that's so stupid, that's so... Yeah, it was so disappointing. <laughs> the other thing I was looking for were some comic books. They didn't have a lot of comic books. You couldn't believe that. So to be honest, it was really disappointing. It was very crowded. Uh, they didn't have a good collection of books. I didn't think it was very special. But yeah, of course, it's beautiful to have a, a bookshop in a church. I think that's the most special thing. Other than that, I wouldn't recommend it to any book lover. Uh, maybe if you like popular books, yeah, you'll find what you get probably. But apart from that, you won't find anything interesting. Didn't really matter because I had such a great time. I really loved the Maastricht city center. It was such a nice city. I actually bought new shoes, so that was nice. I bought a vinyl record in another store. And on my way home in the train, I ordered a book online and it has already arrived. So I already got this comic book. This was just as easy, right? So yeah, that was pretty much it for now. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, if you like poetry or if you like music, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day or night. I'll see you all very soon. Bye, friends.